Scorpio, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Hope you're all well. Uh, this is your September and October 2017 love reading. And the sun just fell out of the deck. Um, beautiful. The energies of Leo, whatever it is, clarity is coming to you. Uh, the sun is the most positive card in the tarot, right? Okay, now, dear Scorpio, the reason why I have not uploaded recently, uh, you can find out if you would like to watch the video that I have uploaded. Um, just an announcement. So I don't have to say the same things over and over again to all of you. So I'm doing September and October together for your love reading 2017. Now, Scorpio, as of tomorrow, Jupiter moves in your sign. So blessings, blessings galore for the next 12 months. Congratulations. And from what the astrologists say, there are no difficult aspects to Jupiter as there were when Jupiter was in Libra. So good luck. You're going to manifest big. Good luck. I'm envious. <laughs> okay, now I'm trying not to make these readings too long. Let's see what September and October show in your love life. See if the September, what happened in your lives in September, if this reading resonates, then this is the reading for you, obviously. Don't forget to check out your moon and your rising sign. At the bottom of the deck is the five of wands. Okay, the four of pentacles is the now position. Your challenge is the two of wands. At the base of your reading is the ace of cups. That's the distant past. In the recent past, we've got the Justice card. Crowning your reading is the Five of Swords. In the near future, we've got the Devil. Major Arcana, not an easy energy. And the Justice here as well, Major Arcana. Now, in the advice position, how people see you, you're making an offer of love somewhere. Okay, all right. In the environment area, we've got the Queen of Swords. She is very prominent, very prominent in the readings this time. We've also got the Queen of Wands in the Hopes and Fears position. So there are two queens. Hmm. And the final outcome is the card of Taurus. This is the Hierophant. Let me take two more cards on that. We've got the Page of Cups as well. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of uh, characters here. Okay, at the bottom of the reading we said is the Five of Wands. And beneath that is the Page of Swords. So sticking to your guns, sticking to the truth. For some of you this could relate to studies further education, brushing up on your intellectual skills. For some of you, this could be in relation to work uh, and you need to, make, to do further studies. That could be the case because this looks as though the fives, you know, the fives are all, always about something happening externally to you, something coming into your life that will bring the change in. But if you look in this Spellcaster's Tarot, this guy over here is, you know, he's enjoying himself. He's entertaining himself by watching the other four making fools of themselves. So uh, this could be people at work. This could be just, you know, a disagreement that's not very serious anyway. Um, let's see what's beneath that. We've got the Nine of Pentacles as well, which says that you are looking at your finances um, this is a card of solidarity. You are on your own. Okay, you've built up a certain amount of financial prosperity 
and you are looking for the right person to share that with, it looks like. Okay, so this could be you with your friends. You could be going out, disagreeing with friends. It's not a serious card, even though it does bring change in as well. Many times I see this as people trying to build on something. Okay, but they're not on the same page. Now in the now position, we've got the four of pentacles. I'm sorry if you hear background noise. Um, it's just very hard not to have any noise in the background when you're at home with the rest of the family. Sorry about that, guys. So the Four of Pentacles, uh, fours are all about our home and our stability, and uh, you are trying to, uh, as I said before, build on something. You're trying to build your foundation, dear Scorpio. So you are in a very good place. It looks as though you have had some success. You are on the right path. But you are being very careful, uh, very, very um, careful with your finances here. It looks as though you are being threatened by someone or something, okay? And that's why he's on top of everything here. You know, it's a little bit different to the right away tarot. So maybe there is some sort of threat here because we do have the, um, the five of swords so you've got two fives, okay? Two fives. Now this is a difficult energy. This is your crowning position. Five of Swords says that you are fighting a battle, uh, you know, a battle to win over any circumstance. It doesn't matter what you have to do to get to, to do what you need to, okay? So you are very serious about this. This can be... Um, very difficult and conflictual energy, very, very hard to deal with. Usually we see three people here, but here, as, we, as you could see, it looks as though he's already chased his enemies away. Um, there are three swords that are on the ground there and he's holding the two. So it reminds me of, you know, a new path. It's like a two, so his challenge is to to find his balance okay and he's fighting over everything he's past the stage of the three the three of swords here which is a very difficult energy always and it looks as though he's got a decision to make here so decision making here that's what's on your mind and also your challenge is another two it's the two of wands Okay, the Two of Wands is like a new doorway. It's a new path. So this is your energy. And the way he is talking with this little bird here, it says that he is receiving news, which is going to help him make his decision on which path to take. Okay. Now, because we've got two queens here, this could be a choice between two people. And um, we've got the Justice card, which is in the recent past. Now, this is... Libra, the card of Libra. So you may be dealing with a Libra here and I would say that this is a Leo more than likely and that's because we had the the card of the Sun before. So again, this is a number two. Uh, it's an 11 but it looks like a two because it is in Roman numerals and we've got the two pillars here. So again, another door but there is a breeze of change here. Now, Jupiter was in Libra, so it's brought in a lot of change to partnerships, relationships, and the wheel of fortune there is turning. It's obviously turning in your favor. Having Jupiter come in your sign, that's obvious. So you are trying to find your equilibrium and your balance here. So it looks as though the universe is with you. So even though we've got difficult energy, and this is the card of the devil in your near future, it looks as though... You've st you're still not out of the woods. There is obviously some difficult energy here still lurking, okay, in the dark because, and this could be your, you know, the, um, this could be your deepest fears, you know, because this could be a card of fear as well. Uh, these two people are fearing that they don't have the strength to move past this energy. Now, if we look at the devil card, it's a number 15. Okay, so one and five is a six. 
logically, if we can get past this energy, then we will find the balance, right? Um, as I said, Capricornian energy. Now, Pluto is in Capricorn. Uh, Pluto is your ruler. So maybe you are moving through some difficult energy, but I don't believe that you won't be able to overcome this, whatever it is, because you've got justice on your side, okay? Now, but I will take another card and see what else I see. Now, the page of cups here, the uh, page, I mean the knight, the knight of cups. This is an offer of love. And because we've got the fish here, it reminds me of Pisces, Piscean energy. Now, Pisces is the 12th house. It's all about what is hidden. And Scorpio, you are very deep. You are very, very mystical, very uh, mysterious. So you've got a card up your sleeve. You are planning something here. Okay, so suddenly there may be an offer of love. You might just, you know, do this really quickly without even realizing. Maybe with the change of Jupiter coming into your sign, that may give you a boost forward. Because what is Jupiter? Jupiter is all, it's the lucky planet. It's all about abundance. It's all about luck. So you may get lucky. Okay, so, okay, in the environment position is the Queen of Swords. Okay, um, a very intellectual queen. Someone who is quite cool, calm and collected. She does not show her um she does not show her emotions at all. She goes by the uh, the facts. Now we've got two totally different energies here. Okay, totally different. Now sometimes I look at these two cards, the two energies, and if we've got Leo, this could be Aquarian energy because that's where the North Node is. Okay, and we're supposed to be heading into the energy of Leo. Whatever the case, We've got two females here, and they could be males, okay, if you are a, ma a male watching this. Um, so we've got two energies here that are polar opposites, okay, and that's what Scorpio is all about. Scorpio is all about death, deaths and births, you know, rebirth, starting all over again, something finishing because you rule the, uh, the eighth house which is all about other people's money, um, wills, banks, loans, other people's money, right? And it's also the, uh, the house of sex and uh, deep emotions. That's what Scorpio is all about. So we've got two polar opposites here. So maybe you are choosing through trying to, maybe you're trying to find the balance uh, and trying to find the uh, your equilibrium with what is mostly suited to you. Now, this is your environment position, this air sign. And as I said, it could be a Libra, it could be Gemini, it could be Aquarius. Here we've got Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, but more than likely we are talking about a Leo. So this is, uh, the card of Leo is in your hopes and fears. Um... Now, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. My intuition is telling me that you are um, maybe choosing between two partners, but I will be taking some more cards. For some others of you, this could be your energy and how you are hoping to, to come across, being able to take charge of your own life because the Queen of Wands is, she's an entrepreneur, she's someone who is very passionate that's where you, you know that's that theme is very common for you and for the fire signs you know passion um, because you are uh, very fiery even though you are a, a water sign Scorpio you are ruled by uh, Pluto and Mars Mars is all about fire so there is a very um, similar energy there um, so maybe you're just hoping to take on the energy and take charge of your own life. And of course, if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur, you're hoping to be able to lead, okay, lead others with setting a good example. And again, 
for those of you in relation to business, the Queen of Wands is the best energy you can for a business owner, okay? Now, um, the final outcome card is the Hierophant. It's another five. It's another five. So, wow, the number 15, because you, you've got three fives. The number 15 is going to be very important for you. And um, the devil is number 15 as well. And as I said, 15 is a, adds up to a number six. So uh, six is going to bring you balance. For those of you that 15 is an important number, we could be talking about the 15th of the month um, in 15 days from now, from today, whatever the case. Uh, now, the Hierophant in this uh, Spellcaster's Tarot is not an easy energy. Okay, as you can see, he is faceless. He is holding a whip. Okay, so it's it can be quite a uh, um, what's the word? Yes, narcissistic energy, uh, brutal energy, um, and uh, but my intuition here is telling me that this is your fear. Uh, this is more a fear for you, okay, because the Hierophant is usually a card of um, your belief system, um, your faith, uh, corporate environment, uh, marriage, long-term relationship, family, you know, it speaks of all those things. But I feel as though um, with your ruler being in Capricorn. Um, Pluto may be bringing up fears. Uh, and believe me, you know, we all have fears, but sometimes they tend to take the better, you know, the they tend to be stronger uh, some days than others. So I believe that this energy is a lack of... Uh, trust and having faith in your ability uh, to be able to get to the Hierophant, to the energy of the Hierophant. And some of you may be thinking long term within relationship. Maybe you're at the stage where you're wanting to settle down and that could be the case. Um, for those of you that are coming out of a relationship, because we do have the Justice card here, we've got the card of the Devil here. So I cannot mention this as well some of you may be coming out of a relationship with either a uh, a leo or a fire sign or as i said before it could be an air sign more prominent would be libra but not always it could be aquarius as well and um, that could be the case and that's why you are uh, showing up we've got the devil here and that's another card of having fears and having a lack of faith in your in your strength to break the bonds, uh, you know, the difficult bond that you're in. But we've got someone handing you the cup here. We've got the page of uh, page of cups here, which is an emotional offer. Okay, now this could also be an adolescent child or a child in general. So maybe there are children involved here, and that is why we've got. Um, the Page of Cups. But if you look here, we've also got three people here, which is a group setting, right? So um, I don't feel as though this is your energy here. I feel as though this is your energy here because you are showing up as a knight so I do believe that there is a youthful energy here. Now, maybe your partner, even though they're showing up like queens here, um, they could have a youthful energy or they just could have uh, water because this reminds me of Piscean energy. And um, look at the fish that this uh, Knight of Cups is riding. Again, Pisces is quite prominent here and it could be their moon or their rising sign it could be yours okay if not it's the energy that is showing up at this time 
But whatever the case, you are looking for your stability. You are being very careful, very slow and steadfast movement forward, okay? Um, sometimes, and I'm, I'm not reading reversals here, sometimes this could be, if this card would have been reversed, it says that it is a sort of a stagnation here. There is no movement. If the uh, Knight of Pentacles is in uh, in the reverse, there is no movement at all. Okay, so maybe there it is necessary for the change to come in finally for you to be able to move forward. Okay, let me take a couple of cards now. Let me look at first and foremost the Devil card here. For some of you in business, I mean, you could be entering a corporate um, career and you are very, very worried and you're panicking about it. But um, I don't think that there will be a problem at all. Let me see what's this Capricornian energy here. The Seven of Wands, you are standing up for what you believe in. You've got a battle on your hands, but you've got the upper hand. You've got, you know, the advantage you've got the the best position um, even though the sevens are all about you know not being able to move forward really you've got a battle on your hands before you can actually move forward with the eight of wands and again it's a wands card it's what you feel fa passionate about um, so you are probably fighting fighting with this Capricornian energy here and Capricorn is the house of career, right? Uh, the card of the devil could be just uh, many things, many things in our life. It could be even our thought process, negative thoughts that are just going on in our head. You've got the ace of wands, so... Um, you do have a new beginning now if this is creatively and its career you're on the right path um, if not because the card of the devil could be a card of passion sexual drive okay lust so um, that could be speaking about your relationship as well let me see what this Queen of Swords is. And I would say more than likely that you are more matched with uh, the fire sign, dear Scorpio, than, than with an air sign. Of course, other things uh, make a difference as well in our charts. It's not, you know, black or white. There are other things that we need to look at as well. There are shades of grey, right? Okay, we've got the um, Eight of Wands, which is a travel card. It could be messages. It could be the Arrows of Love. But I'm going to take one more card because I need to see what kind of energy we've got here. Now, we've got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay, the card of Stealth. And I really do feel bad that in so many readings we've got the difficult energy with air signs and, you know, air signs um, have got beautiful qualities and I don't want to say that this person is just an air sign. Sometimes it is the way we are showing up, okay? So we are not looking at our emotions here we're looking at our rationality okay and uh our intellect and whether we we match on an intellectual level so please air signs do not take it personally okay i believe that we all have good and bad qualities all of us now the card of stealth here someone's trying to get away with something here and uh, this air quality this queen of swords is moving out quickly or there are messages that are trying to uh,
trying to she's trying to get away with something she's trying to do something underhandedly let me look at this queen of wands and let's see what her energy is like okay we've got the four of wands okay stability another four and then we've got the moon card and the moon the moon card again uh, speaks of intuition fears worries dreams sometimes clarity sometimes you know many tarot readers say it's lack of clarity but uh, as we could see we've got a full moon here so with the full moon obviously we could see what's out there in the dark okay so there is some sort of clarity there so stability here with the four of wands and uh, party celebration. Okay, so dear Scorpio, we're looking at a fire sign. Let me take a card on the uh, Hierophant. Okay, and we've got the three of pentacles, expansion and growth. Beautiful energy. And if this is, again, for career, it's very, very successful. You're going to be really well-liked, okay? So do not fret about that. I would like to take one card on the Justice and one card on the Ace of Cups here before I go on to the Sevillas. Okay, look, Justice, there's your Leo, okay? North Node in Leo is bringing you luck, okay? It's bringing you the energies of Leo, which is what your heart desires. Joy, happiness, clarity, love, true love, true love. One card for the Ace of uh, Cups here. And we've got Two of Cups, Two of Cups. So some of you may have already met this person in the distant past you already know this person for some time okay and you are on the right on the same page sorry about that noise it's got a helicopter helicopter passing over at uh, what time is it it's about wow it's about 10 o'clock at night okay one more card on this four of pentacles and the two of wands We've got the King of Swords. Mm. Okay, the King of Swords. So you are you using a very hard, very hard tongue. You are speaking your mind. You are speaking your mind and you are protecting. You are protecting your environment, your home and your stability. Okay, now we've got the King of Swords and we've got the Queen of Swords here who is trying to get away with something, okay? Um, for those of you that resonate with this reading, you know what it's all about. You know what's happened. And if you don't know, you will see it coming to light. Let me take, I would like to take uh, three Sabilas on the Hierophant. And uh, I'd like to see the card of uh, the Devil as well. Because I want to see what kind of energy that is. Let me see the Hierophant first. Uh, Disgrazia, which is the tower. Pensiero, which is someone putting in a lot of thought into the matter. So after some sort of uh, breaking down of uh, foundation. Okay, clearing the slate. There is thought here. A lot of thought. It's like the Hermit card. And then we've got Militare, which is the card of uh, difficult energy, but um, you're on a mission, okay? This is the soldier that is on a mission, okay? So there could be secrets here. You are being quite mystical, not letting everyone know, and that's just, you know, right up your alley, Scorpio. Very secretive, but you're on a mission, and I always say with this card, I find it quite positive. Even though it's a battle, you will be able to climb that mountain. Okay? 
it's an uphill battle, but you can do it. Okay, now, for some of you with those three Sibylas, it could be divorce. Discratia, you know, the breaking down of a uh, long-term relationship marriage. The pensiero can be a solicitor. I hope that it's not health, dear Scorpio, because the pensiero can be a doctor as well. And with the devil card here, maybe your health has gone downhill. You've been overindulging, could be, in things, substances, alcohol, food. What's this Capricorn card? What's the devil here? Dottore, healing. That is the doctor. That's the real doctor. La Matrice, the woman lover, and Fortuna. So this is Jupiter. Jupiter is bringing you health. I can't really say wealth. Uh, you're okay. Financially, you're okay. <laughs> Give it time. In the next year, all things are good. You've got the Three of Pentacles, which is expansion, okay, for wealth. So you're in a good spot. And um, through love, that's going to bring you a change, okay? Here is, here is the Wheel of Fortune. Here is Jupiter for you, bringing in the new love, which is going to heal you. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it at that. I think I'm happy with that. Um, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch the video. As I said, I've already made it long enough. Thank you, dear Scorpio. Do keep well and um, enjoy Jupiter in your first house. Many blessings. Bye for now.